Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to do my MRI on my back. So, they got me in this little room getting dressed. I got to put on one of them. And, um, yeah. All right. All right, y'all. I finished my, um... MRI and I tell you what the Lord spoke to me while I was in that thing honey and I got to share it with y'all I'm leaving out now who I thank God he is so awesome I just praise him we serve a mighty God and he's speaking to his people yes he is oh I just honor the Lord I thank you Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I wanted to go in that bookstore, but I guess I'll do it later. Oh, but it's the Lord. Thank God, thank God. All right, y'all. I'm gonna try to. It feels real good out here. I finish the video when I get in the car. Okay, hello, y'all. Hello. Um. Um. Hope everybody's doing well. It's almost uh, 11, 11 o'clock. So I'm just coming from the um, hospital. I had to have an MRI done on my back today because you all know my doctor that's dealing with my arthritis in my knee. He said that he believes I believe I have a bulging disc um, in my back. So we had to come get an MRI um, done on it today. And today was the first day. Well, you know, your insurance have to approve the MRI. So that's why it took so long. So today... I was able to come to the hospital and get the MRI, and um, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a whole line of cars and stuff behind me here at the hospital because they're doing COVID testing. Um, they're doing, I guess, the swabbing of the nose, and you can do the blood testing. But y'all know what? I wanted to go see if I could um, see if I already had the antibiotics. You know, they do the you can check your blood to see if you already got antibiotics inside inside. Cause sometimes you have you can come in contact with uh coronavirus and not know it you know but um i think they i asked the man could i just i just wanted to get uh blood work done just to see if i had the antibodies already in my body and um he said you have to have a doctor's order to get it done but he wasn't sure but he was going to check but anyway i'm gonna go back by there but anyway i wanted to do this video you all to tell y'all about my experience while i was in the um that machine if you if anybody ever had an MRI done and you they put your body in the machine because I had to get my back done so they had to put my body inside the machine and just my you know just my head just a little bit was left out so she put me inside the machine I had to stand there for 30 minutes y'all 30 minutes so she put me in and she asked me that I want to listen to any gospel music I said uh, any music I said yeah I want to listen to some gospel so they had my headphones on. I was listening to gospel music. And it was um, Kurt Franklin's um, station or whatever it was. Well, I really won't. I really didn't want that music, um, but that's what I was listening to. And so she pushed me down. Let me lock my door. She pushed me down in this thing, y'all. She had the music on, and you know the machine making all this noise and stuff. And I was doing good, y'all. And then all of a sudden, the machine pushed me in some more. Cause when I was going inside that thing, I said, wait a minute now, I ain't gonna be able to go inside this whole thing and my whole head could be covered. But she said my head was gonna, you know, be out and I could see a little bit around me. But honey, when I was in there, I said maybe about 15 minutes into it, that machine pushed me some more inside and I, and I opened my eyes and I was looking around. Honey, I don't know, baby. I think I had my first panic attack ever, honey. And I don't know what it was when I opened my eyes and seen how covered up I was. I just started thinking, child, this thing finna close me up. I ain't gonna be able to get out of here. And so I was waving, put my hand out and waved my hand for her to come. So she came and pushed me out of the thing. I said, ma'am, I said, I don't think I can um, 
finish this. I said, that little pushing me in, pushed me in some more sort of, made me have a little panic attack, I guess. And um, she said, well, she said, I have to push you in a little bit more. She's like, I'm taking different snaps of your back. She said, if you're not able to do it, she was so nice, so kind and so nice. She said, if you're not able to do it, you have to get with your doctor and see if you can um do another kind of MRI testing. But I was like, no. She said, you almost finished. You're doing so good. I said, okay, okay, because I needed to get this done today. I don't need to go back because it's just a miracle that I'm, my work had me off today, and they was able to schedule me for today. So I said, no, I'll get it done. She said, you want to cold rag the level of your eyes? I said, no. I said, I'll be fine. So she pushed me back in, and I, and I, and I said, Lord, just help me. And I heard the Lord so clear to say, close your eyes. So I closed my eyes, y'all, and when I closed my eyes and went back in the thing, I began to hear the Lord say, and when you begin to walk with me, as you walk with me, Yvette, he said, this is what I want you to do. He said, keep your eyes closed. He said, this is true faith. This is how you walk by sight. Walk by faith and not by sight. He said, this is true faith. When you keep your eyes closed, he said, the reason you became panicked because you open your eyes and you begin to see your surrounding and it caused you to panic. He said, but if you keep your eyes, he said, as you continue in life, as you continue serving me, he said, things are going to come along that's going to bump you. You remember like I told y'all, I was doing fine until the machine bumped me. When, when I, the machine bumped me and made me go in further, I opened my eyes and see my surrounding and it caused me to panic. And um, he said, as you go in life, Yvette, he said, there's a, gonna come some things that's going to bump you. He said, some things are going to come to shake you even more in these last hours. But what I need you to do is continue to keep your eyes closed. Keep your mind focused on me. Let the word of God be your vision. Let the word of God be your faith. Let the word of God be your guide. Y'all, that thing blessed me. It blessed me. Hallelujah, because when I went in, I wanted, I told the Lord, I said, I got to be here 30 minutes. I said, Lord, I want you to minister to me. Speak to me. Because, you know, we're seeking God today like never before, honey. We're doing a different cry for the Lord today because we fasting and praying. Amen. But I heard the Lord. Look at my time. I heard the Lord say that so clear. He said, keep your eyes on me. He said, Oh, this is how we lose our faith. This is how we become shaken because we look at the circumstances around us. Even with this virus and things that's going on, we're looking at the things that are around us. All the deaths, all the sickness, all the shortages, all the hurricanes, all the disease. All these things is coming to shake us and bump our faith. And it's causing us to get nervous. It's causing us to have panic attacks. It's causing us to stop on God. But God said, keep your eyes closed. And when he said, keep his eyes closed, Close, he mean keep your focus on him. When you shut your eyes to the things that are surrounding you and focus on God, there is where your faith will continue to be built up. Keep your eyes on God. Shut your eyes to the world. Shut your eyes to what comes to bump. Shut your eyes to what you see and keep your faith. Keep your focus on me. I'm telling y'all, now I don't know if that's going to bless nobody else, help nobody else today, but I tell you what, that right there blessed me. That right there has increased my faith. Then let me know, keep my eyes closed. And I'm telling y'all, I finished the whole thing. When I kept my eyes closed, honey, I kept my eyes closed, I was able to finish it. And let me tell you, when she bumped me a little bit more, honey, to go in a little bit more, when she bumped me a little bit more, I opened my eyes back up. And then, then I closed them again. The Lord said, see there? There we go. That's, a, that's how you got to do it. Keep your eyes closed. And before, I would have kept them open and kept looking around. But as she bumped me again, I shut my eyes right back. And I was able to finish it. I was able to finish the whole thing. But I thank God for the revelation. I thank God for speaking to me in that... um in that thing today. I really do. And that's how God wants us to live. I know that's what he's calling me to do. Keep my eyes closed. Keeping your eyes closed does what? Causes you to have true faith and depend only on God. Not your circumstances, not what you see, not what a report say, not how your body feel, any of that. Now this is what God is speaking to me. There's some things God is, 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 is taking me through in these last days. God gonna have to, is using me to do great and mighty things. He's using me in the 
kingdom of God. And there's some things I'm going to have to get a hold of, a show enough hold of. When things come, glory to God. I can't let the bump disturb me. I have to keep my eyes closed and stay focused on God. Why? So I can finish the test, so I can come forth with a good report. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. So I don't know if that's going to help anybody, but I had to share that on today. Keep your eyes closed when trouble comes. Same thing happened. Was it Peter walking on the water? Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's the same thing that happened with him. When we opened our eyes because something came and bumped us. You know, I was doing fine until I felt that little bump come and push me a little bit more in that thing. Baby, I opened my eyes and seen how far I was in that thing, honey. Panic came. Glory to God. But I thank God. I thank God. God said, now do it again. I, Lord have mercy, do it again, but keep your eyes closed and walk by faith and not by sight. Glory to God. I love y'all. I got to go, but I had to share that. I had to share that. Be encouraged.